hello hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Erin and today I'm going to be doing a video creating this eye look using the Club Baba Baloo or Ricky Ricardo's Club Baba Baloo palette from Besame. Besame is a brand that I've been wanting to try for so long and this is my first time venturing into their products so they are a brand that has a lot of products that are um, mirroring or keeping alive those vintage um, type of styles and techniques to create makeup and wear makeup and I think it's super cute for example this is their rouge in this tin packaging how adorable in the shade apricot I've used it today on my cheek so if you want to see this as well just keep on watching how cute is that so it's got that vintage um, not ancient but <laughs> not that old but vintage um, historic type of feel to their makeup and I love that so this palette is um, with I love Lucy I think I don't know if it's a collab if you would call it a collab but it has the I love Lucy um, their collection of I love Lucy that they just recently did and it's not super new but I have been wanting this and I finally just went ahead and picked it up so um, if you want to see how I got this look just definitely keep on watching um, but before we get to that hi my name is Erin this is my channel where I like to talk all things beauty as well as entertainment I do movie reviews on my channel as well as makeup and skincare although I haven't done a lot of skincare as of late um, but I do a lot of makeup and movie review videos so if you're interested in any of those type of videos just definitely um, subscribe keep coming back like these videos and I would really really appreciate it so without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into the video so talking a little bit about this palette this palette retails for $35 you have eight shades in here and the shades look like this you have a deep navy like some um, browns neutrals and then like some muted colors um the palette is basically all matte this blue right here is kind of like a satin i wouldn't even call it a shimmer um because what i consider a shimmer would just be more shimmery more glitter particles or metallic i would consider this like a satin um you know shade and then you do get a mirror in this palette which is great mine still has the film over it the palette design is super cute it is magnetic and I think it's definitely worth that $35 just for my first use. But the packaging is super duper cute and it's got that Isle of Lucy feel to it for sure. And then the cream rouge blush I'm going to be using today in the shade Apric 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 Apricot. What do you guys say? Apricot or Apricot? Um, it's $20 for this. It is a cream blush. I've paid $20 for cream blushes before in the past. So for me that price is nothing like shocking. And my Tarot 28 blushes are um tw uh 20 and then my um what are these these blushes they're a duo but they're like 38 or something so yeah 20 dollars for this and it comes in the cute tin packaging i mean how cute is that so if you want to see this as well so those are the two items i got there's more stuff in this collection for the isle of lucy collection this is not in the isle of lucy collection this is just one of their cream blushes that i've been wanting to try so i picked up the cream blush and then i picked up this from the I love Lucy Clay. Okay, so super super quick. I'll go ahead and swatch these before we get into the quick um, eye look. And so I'll swatch them on my arm here. So I'm gonna start with the shade um, Tropicana Taupe. I did not use this one, but it is just a like it says a taupe shade. Then I have Bon oh Band Leader Brown. So this is a brown shade. And that it's definitely one you might have to build up. Then we have um, Mertz Mauve. I hope that is correct the way I'm saying that. And I did use that one. I didn't use the first two in my look today, but I did use that mauve shade. Let me go over that brown a little bit. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And then I have ooh, Mech. Gilly Cuddy, I, that is not how that, what that says, McGilly Cuddy Roots, that's probably so wrong, I'm sorry, I apologize, and that's just like a typical kind of cream white shade, alright, wiping off my hands, so next I have Salesman Blue, which I used into the outer corner, for the, oh, that is a terrible swatch, I used that in the outer corner, and then I have Baba Lou, which is the one I said is kind of your shimmery satin shade in this palette. The only one, everything else is a matte, which that usually is not my favorite. I like mattes, but I do love to have shimmers. 
um, but that doesn't take away from the palette though. Then we have Ricardo, uh, Ricardo Rose, and I did use this one as sort of like a transition shade in my crease and blend it up, and it's a nice like peachy shade. And then we have Lucy's Lilac, which is, as you can guess, a lilac shade, and I did use this one as well on the lid instead of using a shimmer. I just used that lilac shade. So those are the eight shades there that um, swatch pretty nicely. And they're pretty pigmented. Some, Most of them are pretty pigmented. So there you go. All right, let's hop into the eye look. All right, guys, so we're going to start in with the look. I did this eye off camera just trying to see where I want to go. It's not perfect right now, but I just wanted to get on here and get this look recorded so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with this eye so i'm going into the beautiful ricky ricardo's club Bab babalu palette from besame it is from their i love lucy collection that they did so i'm going into ricardo rose right here this peachy shade and putting that into the crease so you want to place that into the crease and just blend it out this look is going to be hopefully a quick one so just build that up and blend it out with windshield, windshield or blending movement and just build it up to the intensity. All right, after building want. that up to the intensity you want, and you don't always have to go in. This is kind of like our transition base type of shade. You don't always have to do that, but I'm doing it here. So next I'm going to go into Mertz, Mertz Mauve, I believe that's what that says there. And that's like a deep purple. You can clean your brush off, which is what I just kind of... Uh, cleaned it off a little bit with my brush cleaner and I'm just going to put that right into the crease and build that intensity of that up to really define the crease and I went kind of ham with this color this is a really pretty color and it builds up very easily and you can get a really good depth with this color because it is quite dark so again you're going to build that up to where you want and make sure you blend it so that it doesn't leave like a harsh line there but it looks seamless between the lighter peach transition color All right, now and that this we've color. got that deep 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 mauvey color into the crease and blend it i also went back into that peach shade that we used at first to blend out the edges and then now i'm going to take this deep deep blue like navy blue called salesman blue and i'm going to put that into the outer corner to deepen up the outer corner and you do not need a lot of this because this shade is quite pigmented and a little goes a long way again we're going to place that out there and then we're just going to blend it out like i said you don't need a lot this colors might not seem like they'll go together at first, but in reality, the colors look really nice together. And you compare and create different looks with this palette, obviously, with the eight shades. This pretty much is an all matte palette, but there is a like shimmery blue that is not super shimmery. It's not my type of shimmer that I really usually like, um, which is like very reflective, very shimmery, but it is um an option of a shimmer so i pretty much didn't do that though on the lid i went ahead and went into this light purpley can you almost call it a lilac maybe lavender maybe um it's called lucy's oh yeah <laughs> lucy's lilac so lilac color here and i just put that onto a flat brush and i'm gonna put that on the lid the shadows are a bit powdery but i don't really see any fallout and all of these shadows are pretty much, the ones I've used, are all quite pigmented. Now, I didn't use the some of the other shades though, so I can't vouch for all of them, but I will do some swatches in a little bit. And so we're pretty much just putting that on the lid and clear the blend. And then I'm gonna go back in, get some more to almost create what looks like a cut crease but it's not really we're just placing it kind of almost sloppily and then going back over and blending so there's pretty much what we've got and I'm going to build it up like I did on the other eye to a more intense lilac just by packing it on into the parts where I want it to be more intense Okay, so now that we've got the top part done, we're going to go to the lower lash line, which I did a very simple, just taking that blue, dark blue navy shade and putting that on the outer part to match up with the bottom of uh, the outer
outer part of the top and again you do not need a lot of that color it is quite pigmented and then just kind of blend it out there that's how they can wear faces and then I actually took the shimmery blue which some people might not like a shimmer on their lower lash line you can take that lilac purple and just match it to the top but I decided to do it this because I want to use more colors in this palette and I just will I put that onto the rest of the lower lash line um, and then a little bit over into that navy blue as well and I kind of just packed that on because it is like I said not a super intense shimmer it's more sheer like which again not my favorite but it's cute it's cute it's a cute shimmer i'll probably see more of what if i like it or not when i put it on to the actual lid and i'll do that in another look but for today it's going on the lower lash line and i think it looks cute down there all right so that's pretty much it for the eyes i will maybe pop on a eyeliner today which i <laughs> surprise probably really do but yeah, that's pretty much it, what I did for the eyes. And I pretty much like this look. The shadows were very, very easy to work with. I feel like it's deeper over here, though. Did you guys notice that? Or maybe I didn't blend out enough. Anywho. It's deeper. Let me add a little bit more depth over here with that blue. Just to make sure they match. And blend and blend and blend. Alright, using okay. the Big Fat Liner, I'm going to um, cold mark the pen. I guess this is the name of the brand, I guess. Rockins. I have no idea. I just got this at a boxy charm, but I've never used it, so great time to try it since I'm trying new products. I'm just going to draw a very simple black line on the lash line at the top, and that's it. No wing, no nothing dramatic. Just a simple middle liner. And hopefully, I don't mess this up because I don't want to mess up my look. I usually prefer a pencil that's just my personal preference I mean I like liquid liner and I think it looks really nice actually um, but I usually just do like a smudgy pencil liner if I do liner and a lot of the times I don't even do eyeliner I just do eyeshadow and that's it alright that's looking okay I think it helped define the eye a little bit more so I'm gonna do the other side again just thin black line oh my god do y'all see that oh boy. now how did I do that are you serious bro I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but I will fix that off camera. And hopefully be able to save my eye look. And that looks pretty bad. This is why I don't do eye look. Okay, I pretty much fixed it. It doesn't look that bad. What I did was I took some of that. You got to you gotta learn some tricks. I took some of this dark blue and I just smudged it over the liner that I put on up a little bit so that it kind of covered but first before I did that I kind of wet my thin brush here a little bit just a tiny bit and just smudged that line that mistake off and then I went back over with that blue shadow on the liner smudged it making it a little bit thicker and then I put that lilac color back over the spot where I kind of cleaned off so yeah pretty much I kind of saved it this is ugh. Goodness. this is why I don't use liquid liner that often because I always mess it up but it looks good it looks good so far so all right I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back and try out the blush the cream rouge I bought I love how this brand has this very um, um, historic what is what is the word I'm looking for this like antique aesthetic so i'm gonna try this out when i get all right back. guys i came back with my face foundation done the dubious place foundation stick i used today in the shade granada i actually got this recommended to me um from amy Lowe's makeup's channel she raves about this stick foundation and i've never tried a stick foundation that i like except this one it's amazing and for under eye my favorite combo the undone concealer and powder i'm actually so proud of myself i hit pan on the powder this is the first item I think I've hit pan on 
like a little proud proud mother or something okay so i'm going to actually be trying out this um bh vanilla orange truffle blush palette um for my bronzer today i don't know if it's going to work this shade right there i thought would be maybe a good bronzer so i'm going to try that and see what happens i'm going to use this blush brush i usually use for a blush but i'm going to try it with this maybe i'll mix these two together like a little there a little there and then like and see what that does for a bronzer i also just got the charlotte tilbury bronzer that i really liked upon first um try yesterday i tried it for the first time and actually really really liked it so i'm definitely gonna be using that bronzer and also just recently i've been doing a lot of bronzing a bron buying a lot of bronzers i recently also just bought some cream bronzers so oh oh that's too much oh my gosh i did too much there okay let me try to match that now and now i'm gonna clean this off and try to get it to not be so harsh oh my god okay so yeah I, i've been going here almost bronzing buying a two three cream bronzers i just bought and then two affordable ones and then one that's a little bit more not super expensive but a little bit more and then that charlotte tilbury bronzer oh my goodness oh that looks bad the charlotte tilbury bronzer um is the most expensive bronzer to date that i have like all my other bronzers are pretty much all drugstore or affordable and the charlotte tilbury bronzer is my first high-end bronzer um that i ever bought so i'm just taking some powder and going over that because that was just way too much taking my undone beauty um powder and just going over with my powder brush it's a nice it's nice as a bronzer it's just oh my, i put way too much and i think that is a lot uh more like powdery or something so it's coming off a lot and it's just kind of just trying to blend it in well I don't want to look crazy. So I'm just taking a little bit and bronzing up here. Lordy. Okay, this is just too strong, I think. Um, I mean, and it is in a blush palette, but... Lordy. I'm just trying to do as much as I can there. Okay, that looks good, though. I mean, it looks good as a bronzer. And I definitely think you could use that as a bronzer anyways, because blush and bronzer are very close to each other. And that definitely fits within this little palette, blush palette. So I like it. I can't wait to use the blushes. All right, next. next, one of the products I'm super excited about is this Cream Rouge product. This one is um, in the shade, I don't know. It's all, it says it's for lip and cheek, so maybe we'll put it on the lips too. Although I do have a lip product I want to try. Um, I don't see this. Oh, apricot. So, and it's in this cute little tin, tin pan. Oh my goodness, it's super cute. It definitely reminds me of something from like the 20s or 30s or something like that, or even the 40s. Very, very cute. I love the packaging. I wonder if this will keep it like secure though, because definitely cream blushes, I feel like they'll definitely go bad um, quicker than powder blushes. But I have a lot of cream blush, so that's probably the main issue is that I have too many so I'm gonna just use this with my fingers that's usually how I'll apply Ooh, that's I got lost I some a lot of times I'll apply with uh, my fingers and then a lot of times I'll apply with a stippling brush um, but most times I think I the majority of the time I apply with my fingers so already I do like the color but I definitely I'm gonna have to share that out so I'm gonna wipe that off any excess off and then just kind of go in with my finger and blend that up into the cheek upward sweeping up and also into my bronzer a little bit because those things can definitely mesh together really well I believe um, and I didn't set my cheek where I put my blush but I did set the bronzer so hopefully those things don't mix badly together i think that looks good though mm, that is pretty i'm gonna add a little bit more over here i like to go a little bit down with my blush do a little bit more and i 
every time I say him, I think of John Helm from Mad Men. I know that's a random thing to say right now, but it just popped in my head. And then I'm going to add a little bit on the nose there. I like a little blush on the nose. I think it's cute. Not too much, just enough. I like that. I like that a lot. It's very pretty. It was super easy to use. I thought it was going to be, when I first put it down, I thought it was going to be even more pigmented, but it did sheer out quite a bit. So that's nice. I like that a lot. I really like that. I can't wait to use this some more. I'm super excited about that. So, all right. All right, guys, I am back with the final look. So this is everything on together. I went ahead and put on the um, Harry Potter times Ulta lip crown, lip pencil type of thing. It is their matte lip crown. It doesn't look matte to me, but it's really cute though. I bought this after I bought the palettes and I reviewed the Harry Potter palettes. I will link that down in the description box if I remember. If not, you can find it on my channel. Um, so real quick, what do I think about this palette? I really think it is super cute. I like it a lot. I think it was super easy to use and the formula is very nice. I think it's a really pretty pigmented colors and the color selection in here is super cute. It's not something I would usually normally go for with these colors. I just like something a little bit more bright, but there is a lot of colorful shadows in here so it's not like you're getting something that's just um too neutral or too colorful it's just right in the middle of just more of those muted colors so i really do like it i like the packaging i think it's super cute the club baba babaloo i hope i'm saying that right i haven't watched um, i love lucy in so long but i used to love that show so much especially growing up i would watch that show so much and it was just hilarious of course and i like how they incorporated all of these stuff from i love lucy it's just very nostalgic um even though that was quite before my time but i used to watch reruns of course obviously before my time but and then um i also really like the cream rouge and apricot i think it's really pretty i think it's going great with this look and i love the aesthetic of this the um you know antique older vintage aesthetic is totally my style it's super cute i love it not my well i do kind of like to wear some like throwback type of clothes as well and just be very unique with my clothing um but i just like this this um components and style of the brand as a total as a whole i think it's very cute and i think it's really nice to see them trying to keep some of those traditional ways of making makeup and storing makeup and packaging makeup alive so i do think this is really cute and I definitely am going to be enjoying that. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this palette, obviously you can go to Besame and get this um, for $35. I think it's, I think it's worth the price. I like it a lot and I'm glad I own it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely check out some more videos on my channel. Subscribe, like the video, you know the drill, and I'll check you out next video. Bye bye. Adios.